Hey guys, what is up? And today we are going to be learning how to make the Squid Games on Scratch. So, uh, yeah, I have a bunch of images pulled up. Uh, but the Squid Games, if you guys don't know, uh, you guys probably do, but just if you don't. It's where, like, you know, these people, they use a, they sign up for this game, and, like, they have to go through a bunch of children games, like, little child games, but if you lose them, then you die. If you win, you win a, lot of, a bunch of money, but nobody actually wins, so, yeah. <sighs> it's a very violent show. I haven't watched it myself, but everyone is just like talking about it so yeah and today we are going to be doing the easiest part that we would probably be doing in this whole series which is going to be the main menu and yes let's jump right into it so what I'm doing here is I'm searching up images for the squid game you know what squid games video game main menu that's just uh none of this is actually work like none of these images are good so i'm just gonna search for squid games characters and i'm gonna go tools color and transparent like i need this dude right here <coughs> no this dude yes and then we're, I, uh, I'll leave a link to this image. Uh, so I'm just gonna real quickly. Uh, just so I don't forget my links, I'm gonna type them into this notepad. Boom. Alright. And then I'm going to save this image to my downloads if it will pop up. And then I will upload this image into Scratch. Boom. Boom boom we have our squid games character uh i'm going to actually copy this and delete that and put it into my background i mean the backdrops area but it for some reason isn't showing up uh what <laughs> it just disappeared okay there we go and i will you know keep this guy like what, right? Right here. Alright, I will keep this guy right there. And actually, you know what? Let's make it bigger. Like that. And then let's add like a nice color to the background. Uh, what color would work with the squid games? It would have to be like that this this guy's cloak or like suit suits color that color and just like okay no that actually looks terrible that looks terrible so you know what we're gonna do we're gonna make this a little bit darker i mean if you guys have an idea for you know your background already you guys just feel free to skip this part but I'm just showing you guys what I will be doing. Just in case you guys want some inspiration. Alright, let's do that. I will send this guy all the way to the front. And then I will copy that. And send it all the way back. Alright, that looks like candy. This literally looks like, like... Ooh, just candy or something that's terrible okay I'm not going to add too much like I'm not gonna make this game look too too good but I will strongly like strongly recommend you guys to make this game look really good anyway so after you guys have your backdrop we are going to make the text for the main menu so if I just search up 
Squid Games title. Uh, okay, Squid Games. So you see how it all flows in together? I don't think I'll be able to recreate that, but I could just use the normal scratch uh, font to, let me just make this bigger, you know, make it white, and then, see? So the Q and the G supposedly flow in together. All right, so I will fill this in all the way black and back, okay. So now we can see the, just the text a little better. And then what I'm just gonna do is make a line that's like, what, I need the right thickness. Uh, okay, well, I mean, sure. Oh wait, no, wait, oh wait, wait, all right. And then I can just mess around with it to make it look good. All right, and then I'm gonna also take the eraser and erase that part of it. Oh wait, all right, boom. <sighs> okay, what did I select now, all right. The squid, wait, and then what? The E's line is just huge. Just uh, do that. 12, E, oh my god, all right, wait. Make it like that. This, okay, that looks horrifying. That looks horrifying. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna leave it off at there. And then I'm gonna select that, delete the background and fill in the cute. No, I want to fill in the cute. Oh no. All right, you know what? Well, I'm just going to leave it off at that. You guys can make it a ton better. But, squid game. And then I'm going to do one green flag clicked. Set size. It's like, what, 120? Maybe? Yeah, probably 120. Yeah. Alright, and... Uh, also, not the scratch games. I'm going to change it back to squid games. And I'm going to call this main menu text boom all right so now let's make ourselves a play button so i'm going to call this play button and then i'm just going to make a square like that and then make it what okay wait i'm gonna make it white all right and add no outline to it and then change the text to hi no play and boom and then boom and like All right, so guys, I have my play button all ready. I, I think it actually looks pretty good. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. And I'm gonna do when green flag clicked, set size to 100, and I'm going to make the play button go to that position. And now you can see we have a pretty nice main menu, but we gotta make the main menu work. 
And so what we're gonna do is when green flag clicked, set size. Well, no, no. Oh my God, what am I saying? When green flag uh, clicked forever, if well, no, but if else loop, touching mouse pointer, set size to 120, else set size to 100. And now, when we hover over the play button, it grows bigger and smaller, which is a pretty nice, uh, it's a very nice effect. And what I'm going to do is do, I'm just gonna duplicate this. Actually, there was actually no point in duplicating that, but when we inside clicks forever, and then put an and inside the if then loop, then do touching mouse pointer and mouse down. Then we broadcast start. And all right, so I would say that, oh no, wait, no. All right, I would say that looks pretty good. And yeah, all right, so guys that is it for this video if you enjoyed be sure to like subscribe hit that notification bell and i will see you guys next time so peace